Hello, welcome to 9design3D. Today we will make backrooms level with maze type. I am using Blender 3.4 and show you how to get animation. Delete Holycube, we will add it again, but don't mind. On Google, I search backroom top view and find like that. And I download it. In Blender, Shift A, Image, Reference. Select your image. Alt R for clear rotation, scale, decrease opacity, and uncheck selectable. Add cube and scale. With numpad 7, go to top view, scale your cube like a wall. In top to edit mode, you can select your face and G to move in Z axis. Let's go to Sketchfab add on. In my car chase animation tutorial, I showed how to use Sketchfab add-on and download and import to the Blender. You can go there from top right card. Let's search backroom texture on Sketchfab add-on. You can check the website. I found this texture and I like that. Scans and textures, this creator, thanks for that. Import your wallpaper texture. We get material and you can delete it now. Add material to your wall. We have to unwrap it. In tab to edit mode, A to all, U and smart UV project unwrap. In UV editing tab, you can scale your vertices and you can set your texture like that. Add another cube, scaling Z and X axis for bottom of the wall. Add second material first. You can get color with the picker. Shift it to duplicate your walls or matching your reference image. You can set your walls like that for the clean texture looking. Ctrl J to join them together. Shift it to duplicate. R rotates in 19 degrees and make another walls like that. You can set your outside walls again. Let's make inner walls. Shift it to duplicate and set your walls like that. I made whole process with it. Shift D, rotate, G to move. The side part of the walls are not good looking, a bit stretched. You can select a face and U to unwrap, but we have easy method. Select whole wall cubes. And tap to edit mode, select some part of side views in edit mode, select similar area and use the unwrap of that. It will choose all side part of walls and you can unwrap them together. In camera view, you can check your area, how it looks like. I think it's good for now. Let's make carpet for it. In ambientcg.com, I downloaded this texture 2K. We have to check our node wrangler. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and write node wrangler. Activate it. We will need this. For fuller, add plane and scale. Add material as carpet. Go to Shading tab. Ctrl Shift T and select your all maps. If you want, you can make you to unwrap. In mapping node, you can change your scale. It will look like that in render viewport. Add some light and check it. I add some bright and contrast for I want the yellowish color. I set bright and contrast values like that. If you want, you can make it. For sailing, shift it to duplicate our floor and add new material, tile.
In ambientcg.com, I downloaded this tile 002 2KG pack. Go to Shading tab again, Ctrl Shift T, add your whole map tiles. You can scale it in Mapping node. It will look like that. I added color ramp, want a bit yellowish. Choose your color ramp nodes and set your colors. Let's add some light, add second material for sailing. Add loop cuts with Ctrl R. When you ask to scale your loop cuts, it will stretch your texture. So, press G twice when you selected your loop cut and you can move it like that. It won't affect to the tile material. I set some loop cuts like that, match with tiles. With tree, choose your some part of faces. Select your second material light and assign. With emission, we will add this light for it. You can increase your strength and change your emission color. It will look like this in EV render, but I wanted to do cycle render. In cycle render, it gives us a light path. Let's add another light to our sailing. I use same method. Select some part faces and assign light material for it. In render we would cycle, it will look like that. Let's set our camera focal lens. We want wider looking, so I set my focal length 15. I can walk in the space freely. You can make it your look like that. If you want to get EV render, you can set your background strength and color like that. But if you want to cycle, background is not affect too much. You can increase your light material for this. It can be some glitch or walls, so tap to edit mode to your wall, select face and G to move a bit, glitch will disappear. For cycle engine render, I add some area light to my backroom maze. But first, select your whole cube and M to collection them. Choose your area light and shift it to duplicate. Where you want, you can put it. In cycle view, it will look like that. If you want, you can change look with the video editing program. We need some Shakeify for our camera. You can download it from the GitHub page. Code and download zip. Edit preferences. Add-ons. And install. You can install your zip file. Check for the activate. Select your camera and I to K-frame location rotation scale.
You can set your another keyframes for the camera. If you want to slow down, you can G to move your keyframes. Or as to scale your frames. Like that. It's getting slower. I will set my some keyframes for animation. If you want, you can go different paths. Choose the camera settings and under the camera shakeify add plus button and handy camera. I choose this. You see, it gives very vibey. You can decrease your influence and scale or make it smoother, like walking effect. And you can set your speed. For cycle render, you can set your samples like 128. Under the color management, if you want some contrast in the look part of it, you can set your contrast high, medium or low, how you want. I set it like that. In the output settings, you can change your resolution 2K or 4K. With the frame rate, I choose 30. Set your render folder for export. In file format, I choose FFmpeg video and encoding, select MPEG4. Now we are ready to get our animation. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. If I missed something, tell me in comments. See you later.